All right, guys, what's up? Good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today, I came to the junkyard. I had to purchase some wheels on the tire shop, and they're the G37S wheels, right? So I take them home, and then, you know, straight up, I go mount them and everything. And then, I went to work, right? So whenever I came out of work, I mean, I had noticed the car was shaking a little bit, and I was like, maybe it's an alignment, maybe it's the balance, whatever, I should go fix it the next day. So as soon as I was driving home, I felt the car shaking like really bad, and I was like, oh crap, like, what's going on? So I stopped, and then like, my rim almost came out, guys. I know it's crazy, like, it almost came out, I almost got killed again. But um, luckily, like, I, you know, I stopped and I checked it out and I mean, I kind of ruined the rim, like the lug nuts and everything. So now, like, I could literally put the rim inside and take it off with the lug nuts in it. So I ruined the rim. So now I came to the junkyard and I'm gonna get a different one. They told me they have it here. They have purchased a G37S and they have one wheel left and I'm gonna purchase it. I know it's not gonna be black like my rims, which I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and Plastic dip them, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure these wheels are, I mean, they're black, but I'm pretty sure they're plastic dip, so, I mean, I'm gonna plastic dip them, I guess, and if not, then I'll just take them to my old company that I used to work for, and they powder coat, so I'll just powder coat them black. But um, as of right now, like I said, I came to our line out of part, and they said they had the wheels here, so, let's go ahead and do that. So the wheels, guys, I mean, the car looks good, I guess. So many freaking mortars here. Dude, these guys are walking too damn fast. So I got the ram, and as you can see, it's a little scratched, a big scratch. I don't know whatever. I don't know what happened to the guy that was driving this car, but um, I got this wheel for a hundred bucks. Everybody else wanted like three hundred and fifty dollars, and trust me, three hundred and fifty dollars is a lot for a ram, which, in my opinion, you know, they're stocks, but um. They're gonna be black anyway, so it doesn't really matter. As you can see, mines are black now. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna clean them up, maybe sand them a little bit, and then I'll just paint them black. Alright guys, so I went to AutoZone and I got me this rust um peel coat. It's actually like a plastic dip, and it's gloss black. And I also got this setting grid um it's a little sponge on it too it's 80 i don't know how good of an effect is it gonna do on the wheels but um like hopefully i could send this out because it is horrible so i'm gonna try to do this side right now and then i'll show you how it comes out A few moments later and of course it would have been better if I had the machine but I mean now it's pretty smooth like I mean it still has some deep holes in it you know I mean I don't really know what to call it holes or whatever but compared to like when it's actually scratched to when I'm sanding it down it's actually a big difference all right so now that I sanded it down I'm just gonna clean it off a little bit and then put some plastic dip and this was like six, seven, eight bucks. So it's actually pretty good, I guess. So make sure you shake it, by the way. All right, guys, so now I even sprayed it with some water because there was like a lot of dust. But um, I got this little rag here. It's from my mom's kitchen, so ho hopefully she doesn't notice that. I'm just gonna give it a little sweep on it. <clears throat> this is gonna be a little bit hard because he has like a lot of spokes. So, I don't know, but let's just do it, I guess.
It's actually black now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'll come back and then I'll do like two or three more coats I guess. Alright guys, so I have already finished plastic dipping my wheels and I know this is the next day because I got different clothes but um yeah I came to get the tire mounted as you can see I have right here in the back and this is the tire and well I came to this place called Aztec and I think I, I've been coming here for quite a while already so let's just check out what they have here they always have something crazy here to be honest First off, let me just say it's freaking hot outside. We got this for sale. But bro, look at this. Holy crap. This thing is huge as hell. I'm telling you, it's even taller than me. Like way taller than me. Wrapped in Toyos. This thing is sick. <laughs> I mean, take a look at this. Compare my car to this huge truck. Hell no, like I can literally go under here. I gotta make sure nobody's looking. <laughs> I did it. Dude, this thing is huge, oh my god. Bad news guys, uh, so apparently my rim has a crack on it. I didn't even notice that. I should have had, crap. Like I should have had checked whenever I bought the rim from the junkyard, but um, my retarded self didn't do that. So now it has a crack. And then the lug nuts that I have on my car, they don't fit the G37S wheels. Because the ones I have are aftermarket. If I would have kept my original ones, it wouldn't have fit perfect, but um, as you can see, they're supposed to be holding on to someone right there. I mean, I don't know if you ever can see it, but um, the whole, the whole point is they don't fit. I mean, they do fit, but it's a risk of me doing it, you know. So now I'm gonna have to buy lug nuts and fix the rim. Crap. And we're talking about like 180 bucks for everything because they gotta weld the rim. And then the lug nuts are not cheap, dude. Trust me, Ch lug nuts are not cheap at all. They're really expensive. So apparently these are the lug nuts that I need. Because right here, well, it goes all the way inside. And then this little thing right here is what sits on this little ring, as you can see right there. A hundred bucks, guys. A hundred freaking dollars. But remember, they're OEM. But yeah guys, the new wheels, they're stocks for right now until I get my new wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah guys, y'all seen it. I got new wheels for the G35. And I mean, this is just temporarily until like I actually get like real nice wheels. But I just don't know when that will be. I'm really trying to trying to get something nice so as for right now guys um i want to say thank you for watching guys don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new oh and by the way guys i did start my new channel and which is gonna be mostly like vlogs reactions diys you know something's just fun for y'all so the link will be in the description below and don't forget to give me a follow not even a, i mean not a follow but like don't forget to subscribe to my new channel guys thank you for everything guys and i will see you on my next video